What's the most insanely misguided belief you've heard from someone who claims it's 100% fact? I used to be a paramedic and we once picked a patient up from the state prison. While going over his medical history, he told me that he got HIV from having sex with another man which he explained that the only way to get HIV was from gay sex. But it was fine because it wouldn't turn into AIDS unless he had sex with another man a second time. I don't know where he learned that. Insulin is not natural. If I met someone who hated insulin strictly because it is unnatural I wouldn't be able to not mock that person. Dude clothes, do you know how unnatural that is? What are you doing getting in a car? Do you know how unnatural that is? You have a heater, do you know how unnatural that is? It would never stop, edit. I understand that the body naturally produces insulin but I find it more entertaining to push somebody's argument further into stupidity than to try to correct them by giving them contradicting facts that they most likely would not accept anyway. My brother came into my work one day, this was mid-2000s, I was working retail and he says he needs to talk to me urgently. So I leave the till to the other cashier and say I will be right back. I'm worried maybe our mom had a health scare or something. He needed to tell me that he was absolutely sure that the governor of California Arnold Schwarzenegger was in fact the Antichrist. I immediately told him I don't have time for this and went right back to work. We were meeting with the neurosurgeon who was about to perform brain surgery on my mother to stop a cerebral hemorrhage. My mother's best friend, who practices homeopathy, interrupted him. I think that instead of surgery, we should try giving her mega doses of vitamin C. The surgeon was so pissed that he stood up and walked out of the room. I removed the best friend and told her she was no longer welcome to speak with any of my mother's doctors. The same day, we also had to remove another friend. This one was attempting to remove the tube from my mother's head which was draining the excess blood and basically keeping her alive. The tube was in the way of the pyramid shaped hat she wanted my mother to wear which was going to channel energy into her head and heal her brain without surgery. I'm happy to say we now live 1,500 miles away from those people. My brain cells hurt reading this. What the hell was that hat all about? And vitamin C for hemorrhage, seriously? I'm glad you removed them out of your lives. Your brain hurts, huh? Sounds like somebody hasn't been wearing their pyramid hat. My aunt swears she got a vaccine against flatulence, yes, flatulence. I need this to be real so bad. There was a movement to create it, but it ran out of gas. That doctors, hospitals, and medicine shouldn't exist because it's a sin. Getting treatment is a sin because it disobeys the plan of God. Dinosaurs aren't real. The bones are from giants and dragons and other such things from the early days of creation till the 6,000 years ago that scientists put back together wrong to trick people into worshipping the devil. This was from the preacher during a sermon. Dinosaurs aren't real but dragons are. Dragons are mentioned in the Bible. Dinosaurs are not. Wait there, I must have missed that sermon. If they want kids interested in religion they should really play up the dragons. My aunt truly believes that Mount Rushmore is a natural phenomenon. 
She has argued this with me despite multiple sources I have shown her. Fake news. She always says. If you put her brain in a bird it would fly backwards. That's how they chose the presidents back then. I'm the next president. Why? Because a mountain predicted it. My grandma sincerely believed that men have one fewer rib than women, because God took one of Adam's ribs to make Eve. I didn't think it was appropriate to make the effort to correct her because she was so nice. The earth is flattened in a dome, and that God lives above the dome. He offered no explanation. He just said he knew it. When God shakes it, it snows, D-I-D-N-T, you know that. It's illegal to rip the tag off the mattress. Well, that is the reason why the guy that picked Pee Wee up was in prison. The horizon doesn't curve, so the Earth is flat. Show me bad math to prove it. I'd like a flat earther to explain how GPS works. Big globe. It's all a cover-up. At least that's what I was told. When in doubt, if they don't have evidence, it's because a government cover-up and we're brainwashed. A government cover-up that lets us pinpoint our location to 3 meters accuracy. I'd like more government cover-ups, please. I know a guy who believes in every conspiracy theory. And I mean every, even if they contradict each other and his religious beliefs. He is a nice guy, but very crazy with his theories. This isn't a friend of mine or someone I work with, but someone who does work sometimes for a family member. I mean talking about flat earth, giants, aliens etc. in all in the same conversation is a little nuts. I read a study that concluded that someone who believes in one conspiracy theory is far more likely to believe in additional conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theorists accused the study of being a conspiracy to discredit them. Humans only use 10% of their brain. Earlier this month, my grandma and I were talking on the phone on my birthday and catching up. I call her a couple times a year and our conversation devolved as it always does to debating about religion, because I'm an atheist and everyone in my family other than my brother are very religious. My parents and grandparents are always telling me they're praying I find my way and are fairly vocal about their discomfort with my lack of belief. While my parents aren't so pushy about it, my grandma can be, so I have a hard time keeping my mouth shut even though I know they mean well. She said something along the lines of, well you can't prove that God doesn't exist. And I said I wasn't trying to because I'm not the one making the claim. Just as I'm not trying to prove that unicorns don't exist. She counters with, well no honey unicorns did exist. I didn't even know what to say. My great grandpa said that the burn from smoking menthol cigarettes was the menthol healing your lungs while you were smoking. He actually died from an infection after getting his leg amputated, not lung cancer. Because the menthol healed his lungs. A friend of mine was born in an East Asian Muslim country to an East Asian Muslim mother and a white British father. The family moved to England when she was around 10 years old. So she grows up into a stunning young woman meets herself a sexy young atheist white guy and they want to get married. The mother was convinced that because my friend was born in that far eastern country, her marriage would not be legally binding unless her beau converted to Islam and they had a religious ceremony. I was the bridesmaid at their very unreligious wedding ceremony three weeks ago. All legalities covered. I have a co-worker who believes that 1. 
the Democratic Party is a front for the Freemasons. 2. Says Freemason Democrats are actively trying to bring as many Muslims as possible into the US. 2.5. The US Constitution specifically bans Muslims from entering the country. 3. Once the Muslim population reaches a critical mass, they will start killing and enslaving all the white people. 4. Once all the white people are killed or enslaved, said Muslims will establish a Satanist state.